Hey everyone, it's Miss Sims here. Today we are going to work on an abstract watercolor based on an artist named Vasily Kandinsky from Russia. Um, I'm super excited, I hope you are too. Let's go ahead and get started. Here is some artwork from Vasily Kandinsky from Russia. These are abstract because it's not a picture of flowers or a dog. This one is just called concentric circles. It's just circles. He used a lot of different shapes and line in his artwork and we're going to do the same thing today. We're also going to add a little bit of watercolor and we'll finish it next week. As always, we have two goals for the day. The first goal is we're going to use shape in our artwork. Hopefully you will be able to try some organic shapes and regular shapes and I'll explain that as we go. You're also going to need to use your materials kindly. We're going to have a lot of materials. Make sure that your brush and paint stay nice so we can use them again next week. So remember how I said that we had a lot of materials? Here is what you need. A pencil and a white piece of paper. You'll also need a ruler or something straight. I'm using the side of a marker box, so it's totally up to you. You'll also need a permanent marker, a cup of water, and your watercolors with your brush. You can also use something like a water bottle to trace some different shapes if you want, or you can make them all by hand. It's up to you. So this is a lot of work and a lot of materials to get us ready for next week's finishing of the project. If you don't have time today, you'll need the full 45 minutes. So if you don't have time to spend the full 45 minutes on it today, you can always do part of it now and then pause this video and come back to it even on a different day and finish it. But you have to finish it before next week so that you're ready to finish the whole project together. Okay, so I have my paper here and my permanent marker. You're going to want to double check to make sure that this is definitely a permanent marker because it's if it's a washable marker, it's just not going to work as well. Now that we have that figured out, I'm not going to use a pencil first. I'm going to go ahead and do this straight with my marker, but it's up to you. We need to make about six to ten shapes. You get to choose if you want six, seven, eight, nine, or ten shapes. You can trace things. It doesn't have to be something specific, like that's a remote for my lights that are behind me. Or you can make an organic shape. An organic shape is just something that's free-handed. It's not like the other one was a rectangle. This is just something new. You're going to go ahead and add all of those shapes in all different places and have some of your shapes overlap each other so that they cross. You'll also want to make some shapes big while some shapes are small. Once you have the amount of shapes you want, we're going to add some random lines kind of in here as well because that's what Vasily Kandinsky also did. They can be straight lines or they can be squiggly lines. Again, you're going to want to make sure that some of your lines cross different shapes, some of the lines cross each other. I added about 10 lines total, but you don't need to add too many lines because we don't want our page to look too full. Once you are finished creating all of your different lines, go ahead and pause this video so you can get your watercolor supplies out. Once you have your watercolor supplies out, we are going to first wake up our watercolors. So remember that this is sped up, you'll want to do this slower. And we're going to use red, orange, and yellow, which are those colors that are kind of in the middle. Every single shape you see, you are going to decide what color you want to paint it, red, orange, or yellow, and you're going to paint really neatly on the inside. Here is the trick, so listen carefully to this first. See how my rectangle and my triangle cross each other? When that line ended and there's a spot in the middle, it made a new little shape. And that little shape is a different color because it's not part of the rectangle and it's not part of the triangle anymore. It's its own shape. So notice that most of the triangle is yellow, most of the rectangle is red, but the part that crossed over is orange. You are going to do this slowly and neatly painting so that your paintbrush stays nice, your paints stay nice, and you're taking the time to wake up your colors. We are only using warm colors to fill in our shapes, so your only choices for color are red, orange, and yellow. This will help us practice the difference between warm and cool colors, and it will also help us because we are going to use only cool colors next week. As you go along doing this, you might also notice that some of the lines you created made a little shape, just like I am filling in right here. So you are going to need to make sure you color the shapes that you created where your lines crossed each other, just like I'm doing right here. Keep painting using your warm colors, being very careful until all of your shapes are filled in, and then put this somewhere safe to dry so that it is ready for next week. 
When you have made all of your shapes, your lines, and you have colored them in with warm colors, red, orange, and yellow, you are done for the day. Make sure that you also clean your paintbrush and your paints really nicely so that way next week we are ready to go when we do more watercolor. I hope you had fun and I will see you next time.